I worked in a garage in Swinford, giving people petrol and diesel for a Be price. <laughs> Biggest inspiration would be Ryan Giggs. Joe Rogan's podcast. Christmas time when I got a big teddy bear. A big blue teddy bear that was a monster. You. <laughs> Best friend, I suppose, the boo. From the Hardy books. Actually, no, I'll go, I'll go back to that. A spice bag, I had one recently. It's actually strange because I'm coffee in Dublin, but I'm tea in Mayo. Point of my choice. Yeah. Core is light. I like Alison Chains down in the hole. Be the Boss by James Brown. Is that what it's called? Titanic. Because I keep forget what happened in it. Um, Breaking Bad, that's on there, isn't it? Yeah. Intermission. And the Hardy Books movie as well. Check that out. Pay for it though. Marin Brando. I'd work with Chris Morris. He's like an English comedian. Just because I find his comedy so funny, I, ne I never know where the comedy's coming from. Right. And it's always, I'm always like, I would never have even thought of that joke, you know? So he just is part of an inspiration to me. Mexico. I guess it'd be invisible because I could go into banks, take money, <clears throat> I could get over to meet Conor McGregor and I could just like walk around in the nip. But I do that anyway, so it's only the money really. I've got time, a lot of time for Queen B, Beyonce. JC, where are you at? A big sword, because you never run out of it. Just like, fuck off, zombie, you know. I'd have Mike Tyson, I could show him a few jabs, Beyonce, and Jordan Peterson. I've got Tommy Tierra's number, but he barely answers me. I texted him three times, I've got two texts back off him, so get back to me, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess it's like a learning process. I'm getting a bit better every time. I always have a couple of drinks before a gig too, so I'm trying to sort of cut the drink out completely and get to a stage where I'm not nervous. You're always going to be nervous on stage, but it's just like about controlling the nerves, so I'm getting more to a place where I can control the nerves. We did the Cork Opera House before, Hardy Books, that was really good. I have to say the Viper, he's definitely very, very funny and he makes jokes, you're like, that's brilliant, you know, smart, intelligent and it's just silly. Salmon. He always wants a trailer even when we're in Swinford and we're like, you live out the road, mate. The boo. Because sometimes he comes to my house and he's completely sober and then a few cans later and he's like, I'm, I'm steamed. I would say... Eddie Durkin. Seven, seven, probably. <laughs> Shite. They're all shite. No, the favorite Hardy Books episode would be It's a Turbo Cup. Probably the Viper, because he, he's, he's a great editor, he's a great writer, and he's good on camera. I guess getting onto TV is pretty good, or making a movie. 
and this year I ran 24 kilometers in one go. Pretty proud of that. I nearly died though. Don't do it because there's not enough money to go around with and I want all the money. So, <clears throat> but honestly, no, what, what I would say is if someone's trying to get into the industry is just make a Facebook page, try to make videos, ask your friends if they think they're any good. Obviously there's gonna be a lot of crap ones too because that's the nature of anything. You know, you're gonna make a lot of crap as you go along. And if you really love it and you think you've got potential then just keep at it and eventually the door will open I'd say. It's all about being consistent. I see myself running RT as an artist. I have my own kind of comedy show, whether it's like a mockumentary or a sitcom, or even if it's like a, a current affairs show, but obviously with a comedy twist. Start acting earlier, maybe. Start, start up with a Facebook page early because I was about four or five years into the Hardy books, and then I decided oh, I, might, I might start with my Facebook page. If I had been doing it a bit longer, I could have had maybe like twice the amount of followers, so I was a bit slow off the draw. So if you, if you know what you like to do, then just don't procrastinate and go for it.